नमस्ते सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ करोना वायरस हाफ नॉलेज हाफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज किलिंग द पीपल स्मॉल मिस्टेक्स आर किलिंग द पीपल प्लीज डू नॉट टेक जिंजर एंड ब्लैक पेपर येस्टरडे सम वन आस्क मी वाई आर यू रिकमेंडिंग लाइक नॉट टू टेक जिंजर एंड ब्लैक पेपर वैन एवरी वन एल्स इज रिकमेंडिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरी वन इज नॉट रिकमेंडिंग ओनली हाफ क्वालिफाइड आयुर्वेदिक एक्सपर्ट only who have done one month two month three month some short course in ayurveda only those people are recommending it <clears throat> let's try to understand it why the most authentic schools of ayurveda based on most authentic scriptures of ayurveda most authentic traditional school are uh, ashtang hriday and charak sanhita in charak sanhita in ashtang hriday the entire science of ayurveda and ayurvedic medicine is based on sat raj tam vat pit kaf when we go to mental aspect it is sat raj tam when we go to physiological physical aspect it vat pit kaf and as per them the any illness disease sickness which is not yet described if some new thing comes how to understand it is you major it on the parameter of vat pit kaf sat raj tam that is the system authentic approach when we try to understand uh, the corona virus illness the un- understanding it on behalf of signs and symptoms reported by world health organization and other authentic sources first it makes the mucus dry and cough dry cough and then it makes the mucus inside the lungs also like inside the trachea becomes dry lungs get filled with pus and so this is basically this is basically uh pit vat pathic generated disease vat pit ka what are these things these three parameters now a common man need to understand it uh, in superficially don't think that after understanding it you become doctor but superficially uh, when we say cough it might create confusion in this video because in english cough means like sore throat like this disease disorder like <coughs> this is cough but when we speak vat pit kaf in ayurveda the kaf means uh, one of the element one of the constitution one of the three constitution of the body which is very close to mucus different types of mucus that is also called kaf and in english the sore throat the disease disorder <coughs> this is called kaf so one is kaf one is pit pit is acidic in nature roughly can say like bile juice and all the different types of acids heat energy and that in the body is represented by the pit roughly roughly but it's enough for you right now and then uh, vat is very close to air element it is cool it dries everything it's all that thing so in ayurveda the cough disease the sore throat and <clears throat> it is it might be generated by any out of this three reason it can be vataj cough pitaj cough kafaj cough mean to say it can be created by air element being aggressive or aggravated or pith the bile juice element the acidic element being aggravated or angry in the body or distorted mal distribution of it or kafaj kaf means uh, the mucus being aggravated angry or mal distribution of kafa in the body nearly 50 years back there was a trend new trend like ayurveda people everyone is running behind the ayurveda from the foreign countries and uh, that time 80% population when they were getting kafa they were getting kafaj kaf because of indian environment because of indian lifestyle because india is always known with a ghee the butter lot of intake of butter ghee oils and all that so nowadays it's much reduced that time it was much more and uh, air pollution the setup was not that much so majority of the time it was kafaj kaf mucus generated kaf disorder kaf <coughs> sickness which is due to excessive mucus so to dry the mucus to there are few methods of treating it you can dry it you can wash it away you can bring it out so dry it immediate relief but it's as per ayurveda it's not considered it's like a, you, you need to remove it from the body that is permanent treatment so in that kind of situation uh you take ginger lemon honey common treatment 
so it is such a common thing basically it is uh, just food products so anyone can recommend anyone without even doctor so it gets very popular it helps everyone so even non qualified doctor started to recommending it and people coming from the foreign country they do one month course three month course they return back to their country and they declare themselves i studied ayurveda they start helping people in fact a little bit knowledge of ayurveda also helps a lot ayurveda is such a great thing even if you have little bit knowledge it helps a lot but uh, if you declare yourself with a half knowledge little knowledge that you are the expert of it you try to behave you try to replace the doctor then it's it can be horrible sometimes uh, very often it does not happen because ayurveda is using food as a medicine so it's comparatively very safe but sometime it can really go wrong suppose now black pepper and ginger <coughs> so similarly the recipe for this uh, kafaj kaf the mucus generated kaf the black pepper honey and basil the tulsi this this kind of like almost perfect treatment but nowadays this even despite of corona virus even in india lot of people get this kafa disorder <coughs> sore throat <coughs> this kafa and due to not due to kafa the mucus due to vat vataj kaf pittaj kaf air element aggravated sore throat uh, acidic or pith generated cough so in and especially when we try to understand the corona virus when we understand it from the symptom signs how disease is progressing from the authentic sources like world health organization government website people the expert the medical experts qualified medical expert real qualified working in the area where corona virus is already spreaded and giving reports from there so on base of that if try to understand as per ayurveda it is vat pathic cough a vat pathic uh, <coughs> vat pathic generated disorder it is disorder it is disease which is created by vata air element and path the acidic element distorted in the body aggravated in the body being angry in the body mal distribution of these element so you should take those diet those food those nutrient supplement which calms them down which reduces them roughly can say reduces technical word calms them down so especially if to take medicine but uh ginger and black pepper it has opposite effect it dries your cough it dries your mucus so these two things are doing instead of help opposite related to coronavirus we cannot say it is increasing the infection but it dries the your mucus which is extremely dangerous if a infection is not yet there it is easy for any virus to enter your body make you infected if your mucus get dry one thing second thing an infection is already there and body is struggling with it it is making your mucus dry and body try to bring it out and then you take this uh, uh, black pepper and ginger and you dry it further it's extremely wrong please do not take it in a food not as a medicine as a general food you can still take little bit of ginger and black pepper but don't increase the quantity reduce it in comparison to your intake in usual life and especially as medicine apart from the food as a supplement do not take ginger and black pepper nowadays please do not listen half qualified doctors whether it is from ayurveda whether it is homeopathy whether it is uh, allopathy and whether it is a uh, chinese system of herbal medicine please be educated listen to the government listen to the government uh, instructions guidelines which is coming by real experts and uh, although there are controversies we also talk about controversy in next episode but this deaths are really real this is really scary corona virus was discovered many years back it's not scary at all but this deaths are real danger is real on controversy next episode wish you all good health enjoy